every deck has its own legacy and position of power. Where does your deck fall among the rubble? Every two weeks, a tournament is played out, but for every archetype that makes it to the final stage, they are banished for the rest of the series. Who will be the last card standing? Entry open to all Twitch and Patreon subscribers. Details at discord.gg slash farfa. Oh my god! Ladies and gentlemen, we're playing Dust Ons, yes. This is a deck that I... A level 1 deck that... I'm not even gonna try explain it, because I, I don't even understand it myself. Uh, we're gonna go Jack in the Hand here. Uh, spoiler, we're not adding Robina. What the heck is that? Goblin King? Get, what, is, what did you... What did you reveal? I need to see that card you revealed. Goblin King? <laughs> Your Honor? My defendant would like to claim that they did not commit the crime because they were technically in goblin mode. All right, Dark World Dealings, discard your dust on here. And uh, Fossil uh, Miracle Rupture, gonna send a copy of Weathering Soldier. Weathering Soldier, when sent to the graveyard, as a copy of Fossil Fusion. Fossil Fusion, I'm gonna banish a rock and a fire to summon fo Fossil Warrior Skull King. Battle phase, attack Stygian Security. Ex uh, piercing damage, it looks like. Stygian Security uh, goes into a house dust on. Which is tributed over by Santa Claus. We do get to drop uh, goblin mode here. So let's see if Dinosaur is going to go goblin mode now. We're going to flip a uh, pot of extravagance. Draw two. Going to go jack in the hand here. And uh, we're revealing a bunch of guys. We're adding another goblin mode. Normal summon house dust on. Crash the house dust on. House dust on summon white dust on. White dust on. <laughs> What's going on? What is? Where are these guys coming from? Special summon star dust on. Tribute for Santa Claus. Uh, okay. Battle Mania, standby phase. Oh my god, your opponent has to attack. All into Stardust on. 25. 25. 25. <laughs> it's, uh, oh my god, don't tell me you just tremendous fire for both players' life here. Okay, so we've got Serzeal into Parabolia. Paradolia, Parabolia. I am a big fan of Tool, Smile. Alright, let's uh, zoom through this evil eye combo. This deck's a little bit boring, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, we make a big dude who is uh, untargetable, unprotected, blah 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 blah. Okay, there we go. Uh, Gor Gorgon Queen plus a back row. Plus back row. Uh, discard Sun God, uh, what's it called? Hits Both back row gets chained by an evil eye retribution, which I'm pretty sure is just an Omni negate for the deck here. Negates and destroys Twister. Okay. Um, Evil Eye Selene gains some life points here. We're gonna go Mound of the Bound Creator, activating Tremendous Fire. Pew pew! Both players taking some damage here. Gonna special summon Guardian Slime. Guardian Slime climbs up into Egyptian Cum Slime. Slime effect in the graveyard adds the True Sun God. Activating Ancient Chant. Humana, 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 humana. And Ancient Chant effect in the graveyard, banishing to what? Perform an extra normal summon using the, in the using the slime as a full three tribute effect. Gain life points, attack, Paradolia. If an evil eye make the battle damage you take from this battle, the inflict inflicted to your opponent. The evil eye spell makes both players take the same amount of damage. <laughs> so I guess we've decided that Nordics are the best uh, deck in Yu-Gi-Oh now after 11 weeks of ban lists, right? Oh, okay, here we go. Hippo Carnival. Uh, doesn't this discard or something? No, okay, we're gonna summon three Link Monsters. Banish the, the tokens for, for free special summons. Gonna go into Ivaldir or something. He adds Zvalin. Odin, father of the Aesir! All right, so this guy is, um, I don't know. It's just, he's unaffected by spell trap till the end of this turn, but it's, it's the turn is over, so that's useless. I think Zvalin is just like a weird imperm. I think what that, that I think that's what that is. Ha <laughs> ha, get Chimera tech. Eltonen! Eltonen effect. Chain Svalin. Yes, I think this negates so that we can't just send Odin or something, right? Yep. Okay. All right. That's our one disruption. Can Odin stand a chance against a bunch of little uh, machine guys? Well, we're going to go Horizon. We're sending Hatsa. Adding cannon. Oh, sending Cyber End Dragon. Hatsa effect. Uh, chained by Chimera. But we're going to go Dark Realm here. 
for Cyber Dark Cannon. Cyber Dark Cannon, gonna add a copy of a Chimera. Extra normal summon or some shit of a Cyber Dark. Pitches a fusion spell, adds Power Bond. And I'm banishing and I'm summoning Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon. 4200 attack three times, right? Destroys all the back row. Chains Hippo Carnival. Chain Hippo Carnival. We live. We survive, probably, right? None of these guys pierce. Yeah, I should have made Cyber End Dragon, fool. All right, gonna send two here to attack multiple times. Attack a token, attack a token, attack a token. And we're not gonna clear Odin? Yo, can we not- Is Odin, like, indestructible by battle or something? Activate Odin, makes himself unaffected by spells and traps at the end of this turn. Oh, Odin resummons itself? Okay. Uh, here's Evaldi. Evaldi, add another Svalin. We're gonna add- activate the Relic, which is- Yo, for all, like, four Swedish people that play this game, someone t What the- what the- what is this? Can I have a vowel? One vowel, please! One vowel! Okay, Nordic Relic Hirschgelfe. Um, into a Nordic Beast Gullenbursty. <laughs> Gullenbursty. Summon Alvis. We're crashing Alvis, question mark. Triggering the Cyber Pharos to add Power Bond, huh? Odin! Punches Elton in. Okay, just Odin and a bunch of uh, goats and stuff, I suppose. Gonna negate the uh, effect of Rampage Dragon with Zvalin. Uh, still maintains the 4200 attack here. Cyber Dark Cannon adds a Cyber Dark Keel. He's going to try and keel you. Surely just power bond for Cyber End this game here. Oh my god, why is this card negated? Oh, Svalin is like even more broken than I thought it was. Negate the effects of all face-up cards your opponent currently controls. Jesus Christ! Yeah, this is the uh, answer to, you know, legacy support. Let's give them the most broken uh, floodgate imaginable. Is Untis still legal? Oh, I guess so. All right, punching over everything here. Uh, Keel deals 300 damage. Wow, it's it's it. He's correct, actually. Oh, Odin comes back. Odin, father, father, he's back. Um, oh, it draws a card. <laughs> he just draws a card. Okay. Wait, do we just punch Keel and win? Odin for game. What is the worst mirror match in the history of the game chat? Let's find out. Uh, come on, it can't be that bad. The Cyber Dark Mirror. Oh wait, hang on. Y'all just playing Chimera Tech? <laughs> Okay, all right, let's see what happens. Past turn. Those are a lot of machines, baby! <laughs> Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon for 4k off the whole field here. Super polymerization somehow even... It isn't even that good. Somehow. Oh my god. I, I can't believe that card was printed, by the way. It used to be horrible back in the day. It's, uh... You don't see it that much now, but it used to be a horrible card to play against back then. Alright, pop this thing here. Attack multiple times. Uh, Power Bond actually puts you in kill range. <laughs> oh my god, amazing. Did we not ban grass yet? Okay. I mean, it's just a Skull Servant OTK. I feel like we've seen this many times. Um... Yeah, okay, sharks, special summon. What does this make? Kragen pass? Nash Knight! Nash Knight, Kragen! Set to pass! Oh boy, okay. Alright, let's see what we got. We're gonna go one for one. Pitch white baking for the prince. White baking adds a copy of White Mare and White Princess. A lot of white people in this deck, huh? It's kind of uh, concerning. Alright, gonna go into Link Rebo. White Prince gets to start a lady in white. White Princess is summoned. That sends a white prince. White Prince sends more white people to the graveyard. White Prince banishing a bunch here to summon King of the Skull Servants. White Mare discard, special summon white uh, Lady in White. Chain Kragen here, pop the, uh, the the Prince here, who brings itself back. Links up into Zeroboros. <laughs> uh, white Prince in the graveyard banishing. Attempt to special summon the uh, White Prince again here. Uh, were you holding for the grass for next format, by the way? Oh, Nash Knight just equips Zeroboros. Summons out the King of the Skull Servants here. Brings back the uh, White Lady. Mills a bunch of cards here. That's a 9,000 King of the Skull Servants. Battle phase. Chalice on the Skull Servant. Chalice on the White Lady. Negating both of them in chain here. Down to 400. Why are you hitting yourself? Brings itself back though. By banishing another Skull Servant. White Princess in the battle phase. Discard and one shot for 8,000. <laughs> Uh, dual avatar versus ice barrier. There's no way you're telling me that dual avatar can't even be ice barrier, bro. This deck has had like one structure deck four years ago and they got two new cards and they were terrible. All right, especially if we open the, the feet cards, right? There we go. Summon five tokens. Fusion summon empowered feet into empowered knees. 
Uh, yep, pass. Okay. Activate Medallion of the Ice Barrier. We're gonna add Revealer. Normal Summon Revealer. Revealer, what does she do? Does she reveal? No, actually she discards. Wow, I was lied to. Uh, Feet apparently destroys a card, but we get to summon the little uh, Hedgehog. That's definitely a Hedgehog, by the way. I know zoology. Uh, special summoning this Speaker for the Ice Barrier and General Kenobi. Activating Freezing Chains of the Ice Barrier. Brings back Revealer. Goes into Brian Act. Do not discard two. Please do not discard two. Bounces a fusion, gets Ghost Ogred. Oh, Ghost Ogre actually good. How? Guy still got on Schneehasa. Destroys the Brian Act. Bounces away this guy. Activates Winds over the Ice Barrier. Tags into Defender and Warlock. Who the, who's playing Warlock? And then we special summon a token with Speaker. All right. Avatar Ascendance. Banishing. Adding back uh, Feet. Fists. Yo, this one's the hands. Yeah. Boo. Boo. We want feet. Boo. We don't want hands. We want feet. Battle phase pass. Can't attack. Realizes what's going on here. We have a bit of a ice barrier lock, right? Monsters your opponent controls cannot declare an attack if their attack is greater than th th than or equal to this card's defense. Yes. 16 is our threshold. Yeah, that's, that's all I can give you. Uh, General Kenobi added back to the hands here with wins over the ice barrier. Apparently, he just gets to special summon himself for free. Nice. Adds Medallion. Synchros into Trishala! Dragon of the Ice Barrier! I'm a banish a back row, a card in the hand, and a card in the grave. Let's go. Battle phase. Punching the feet. The fist. The good, the bad one. Sets Terrors of Trishala. Cross for turn here. That's a Cosmic Cyclone set. Nothing here. What does Terrors do? I guess we'll find out. Draw a card. That's Fury of Kairushin. Medallion of the Ice Barrier adds a copy of Revealer. Revealer. Normal summon effect. Does not reveal. Discards. Lie lying again. Gonna use the Hedgehog here. Synchros away into Deloren. Wow. Ice Barrier deck. Actually an Ice Barrier deck. It's still not game. Jesus fucking Christ. These decks are ass. <laughs> My god. These decks don't do anything. All right. Draw for turn. What is that? Feet. Cosmic Cyclone, hit the back row. Have we got a play here? Chains Terrors of Trishula. What are we doing with Terrors of Trishula? It banishes Cosmic Cyclone. And a card in the grave. Not card in the hand? Okay, it's half a Trishula. Alright, very fair. Uh, dual Avatar Feet here. Feet adds a trap and sets and passes. Is this enough? Is it, is it, is it over? Drawing Prior. Standby phase. Dual Avatar Compact. Banishing a spell. Discarding a card. Summoning five tokens. But what if Trishula just hits the- Oh, we're fusing! We're fusing! Feet! 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 We've got feet! Feet! Battle phase! Can't do anything! Main phase 2, Prior! Bring back Defender of the Ice Barrier and lock it up past turn. We're in a bit of a stalemate here. Who would win? The, the, the terrors of the dual terminal world trapped in ice caverns for millennia by the ritual pride of the, of the Ice Barrier clan? Or uh, some guy would choose. Alright, normal summon Silent Angler, Chain Deloren, Chain Mitsu... Uh, chain feet. What does feet do? Bounce? Okay, feet effect. It protects! Once only! <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Alright, draws a perfect sink aun. Doesn't do anything with it. Okay, pass turn. Oh my god, this is so intense. Normal summon. Cryomancer of the Ice Barrier. Terrors of Trishala! <laughs> Sub-Zero? Oh my god, it's Mortal Kombat Trish. Sub-Zero? Oh my god. Wait, no, it's it's not Sub-Zero. Zero draw- Wait, where the- Why did I think it's called Sub-Zero? Am I making things up, or was that like an OCG name? Oh my god, it resolves! Banish! Yeah, good game, dude. GG. <laughs> Extravagante! Draw two. Alright, we're not going to be special summoning with this backjack, but we are indeed going to add Ring of Destruction! Uh, setting, uh, five cards. Okay, what are we playing against? Um, spiders? <laughs> what deck do you play? Oh, uh, spiders. What the fuck is this?! <laughs> Little bro just summoned five level fives. What the? What's going? Oh my god! Uh, three level fives. Tarantula into seven sins. Ring of destruction for four thousand. Wait, detach chain. What? It protects itself? Holy shit! Why didn't you read it? Oh my god. Okay, small world for fairy ant and digital bug sentiment. Oh my god, sent. How did we end up in a format where Cicada King is the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh? Alright, Digital Bug, uh, Korobane. Oh, this card is insane! It spins away set monsters! DROWNING! <laughs> DROWNING Mirror Force! Activate Stumbling! What the heck is this? Any monster that is normal, flipped, or special does change to defense. <laughs> Stumbling! <laughs> Draw Twin Twister, pass. I think you've just, like, that's it. That was his best play. Like, summon, the, summon some spiders and lose the duel. Uh, these Secret Blasts are not gonna do any damage, are they? Wow, Ghost Bell. You guys are playing Hand Traps? What are you guys playing hand traps for? Genuine question. Why are you playing hand traps? What are you trying to do? Stop spider effect? Baby spider, do 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 do. Baby spider, do do do. Is it even worth secret blasting here? 
Chain Trio. Oh, Chain, uh, cha oh, chain Twin Twister. Reduce those card counts. Oh, I don't know about Blind Hitting Back Row. Chain Secret Barrel. Chain Secret Blast. Oh, is it one? Wait, why is he not chaining this Secret Blast? Oh, it's the end phase, I think. Yeah. Uh, all right. Here's a bunch of tokens. This isn't that much damage. 1,500. <laughs> Stumbling. <laughs> okay. Uh, draw for turn. Here's a Secret Blast. Another Secret Blast set. Does Spider Deck have any uh, recursion? Oh my god! Ahashima! With the tokens! Um, too bad you can't stumble a Link monster. Alright, special summon uh, some bug guys. Goes into Skaradiator. Get get stumbled, I guess. <laughs> Goes to defense. Wait, isn't that really good for this deck? Hang on, isn't that actually... Yeah, that's why you're playing it, right? Because they all do stuff when they go to defense, I think. This guy changes and attaches a material. Then we're going to detach and spin the set monster to the grave here. To the deck here. Ahashima targets a back row? What does this guy do? I thought it was just a special summon. If an exceed, this points to activates an effect. Target a spell and trap and destroy it. Wow, okay. Uh, take an extra 1,000 there, I suppose. 1,500. Um, all right, 65. Draw for turn here. Burn is uh, drawn a Waboku. Uh, that's fine, I guess. We can live a turn for sure. I'm uh, going to put the Korra Mage uh, into attack mode. Attach material here. Battle phase. Going to declare an attack. and Doesn't use the Waboku. Survives this one. Use it next turn when we're going to die, I guess. Makes sense. Draw for turn. What are we seeing here? Off the top of the deck. It's a Ring of Destruction. Hang on a second. Is that game? Battle phase. Wabaku. Protect. Chain Ring of Destruction. Chain uh, Secret Blast. Oh, no, no, no. You definitely don't chain, right? Ring of Destruction. 22 for both players. Survives on 600 life points. How much damage is Secret Blast? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. It's game. Is it a game? Am I being stupid? Is it it's game? Set four with the set Oh my god. Card demise off the top. Set three. Secret blast is only control. Oh, cards you control. Okay, we got ceasefire plus Wabaku. Plus secret blast. Three, six, nine. Damn, she's fine. Jigga, jigga, jigga. Tell me one more time. Get low. Chain link four. Ultimate uh, cumulative fortune. Draw two cards. Draw two. Secret ass 900. Secret ce ceasefire 500. 100 life points! 100 life points! Oh my god. Alright, main phase 2. Normal summon. Get stumbled. Special summon solder. Make them level 5. Rank up into Korobaj. Uh, Korobaj on summon. Change some stuff to the. Uh, yeah, yeah, get, get stumbled. Summon into attack mode. Get stumbled. New chain effect. Battle position has changed. Rank up. Or uh, add the material. Can we draw anything? There's no way. Wait, what? Ol activate only as chain link 2 or higher. Inflict 4. Bro, if your opponent activates a card effect, battle phase, we're going to lose to freaking Dimension Wall. No, Chain Strike for game! <laughs> Metaphys versus Dual Avatar. Wait, why is it? Is there like three Dual Avatar players? All right, Die 5 pass here. We're going to go Yuhi. Pops itself for Invitation. Invitation. Discard a card here. Summoning five tokens. Summon five tokens. Activate Law of the Normal. Ah! <laughs> I see when there are five face-up level two or lower normals. Both players discard all cards in their hands and destroy all cards on the field except level two or lower normal monsters. But then the monsters get destroyed anyway because of dual avatar invitations effect in the end phase. Because he didn't fuse. Uh, and you're playing against Metaphys, who just, like, apparently just triggered ten effects in the standby phase anyway. Because of the die-fi. Oh, that is so... St no, that's that's so funny. So they, they get banished first, right? And then the spells and trap cards get destroyed. And then all of the metaphysic cards trigger in the standby. So this just didn't do anything. Oh, that's insane. Literally your worst matchup, by the way. You unbricked your opponent. That's the funny thing. Yep. Oh, wow. We didn't draw invitation. Well, this one is over. We're just steaming through to a, to a victory here. Uh, field spell? Wait a minute. Hang on. Can we still play? No, surely not. Summon token. Add. Defeating evil. Set pass. Oh, this doesn't do anything. Right? This doesn't actually do anything. Okay, let's put this guy in defense mode here. Tyrant Dragon shuffles itself. Summons out Ragnarok. Ragnarok, banish three here. Ace of Metaphysics, banish. Add. Battle phase. Punch. Defeating evil. Pop the Ragnarok. Take 15 to the face. Special summon and Tyrant Dragon for game. Oh, Dart Lords versus Toon. Maybe Dart Lords can finally win a duel. All right, what are we doing here? We're going to uh, Tezka to la pla Dark Contract bringing uh, Tasmania back here. 
Activate the effect. Copy the dark contract. Bring back Ukabak. Ukabak effect. Wow, look how many prize cards are on the field. Uh, there's at least one, I think. Uh, activate Nastin for Indulge the Dark Lord. Normal summoning her. Activating the effect here. Giving our opponent an Ukabak. Uh, okay. Into Condemned Dark Lord. Condemned Dark Lord effect. Adds a Superbia. Dark Lord Ixgel discarding to draw two here. Uh, our opponent's gonna draw for turn here into Pot of Prosperity. Revealing three dudes. Why would you only go for three? Just go for six. Toon Kingdom banishing for the activation. Page flip. Looking through here for a soldier, a Harpy Lady, and we miss all of the good ones for Harpy Lady. That's unfortunate. Got a Monster Reborn. Targeting Superbia. Bring back Superbia. Is that a freaking tribute summon? Oh my god, that's a tribute summon. Red Eyes, Toon Dragon. Oh, jeez. Okay, all right. Past turn here. Bro, Dark Lords are horrible. Can we actually just not, like, beat, like, Toons? Like, come on, man. There's no way. All right, we're discarding a card to, like, add a Dark Lord card from our grave here. We're, act we're activating Toon Terror. What does that do? Negate. Destroy. Fascinating. Okay, wow, what a card. <laughs> Uh, indulge Dark Lord, add Ixchel, give our opponent an Ukabak. Discard two, draw, Dark World Dealings. Is that really, uh, is that really what we play in this deck? Okay, all right, Dark Lord Contract, pay a thousand, bring back Ixchel. Ukabak, send Banishment, Ixchel Effect, copy, add Uprising, return this, uh, nothing. Tasmania goes to attack mode here, pops this before the, what's it called? Ukabak, punched over by the, what's it called? Try and attempt to punch over the Toon Dragon, Kingdom Protects here. All right, pass turn, wow, just the greatest Dark Lord field you've ever seen. Shadow Toon! Shadow Toon! Take 28. Chain this for a thousand. Is that really worth it? Chain this, target uprising. Oh, quick fusion into the first Dark Lord, dodging Shadow Toon. Okay. Shadow Toon has been dodged. First Dark Lord effect. Pay a thousand. Bring back Ukabak. Ukabak, send contact. Xgel. Copy contact. Contact. Bring back indulged. Recycle. Indulged. Give your opponent an Amdusk. Add Morning Star. And battle phase. Oh, attacks directly! It's a tune, of course! Okay, you need to deal with Red-Eyes Toon Dragon or it's very Jover. Oh, you actually just- You're gonna lose, aren't you? You actually just have no way to deal with your opponent attacking directly next turn because the Toon Kingdom protects us from battle and card effect. This is embarrassing. You're going to just die. <laughs> Blind the learn to two. Blackluster Soldier. Oh my god, you have to Blackluster Soldier banish the- the Toon. No! Banish the- Banish the monster! Wait, does it protect- it Toon Kingdom protects from targeting, doesn't it? Oh, we can't attack directly because we don't have Toon World. Oh, 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 we live. We live. Okay, okay, okay. We're on to something. BLS and a freaking dream, buddy. Oh, wow. This Dark Lord deck has just turned into a glorified BLS, like, towers deck. All right, here we go. What can we do here? Set a goblet attack force. Oh, no, not like this. I don't see which effects this guy has. It doesn't tell you. The interface, like... Like, so this guy, I think, can attack twice, and it banishes cards, and it should gain effects? Gain attacks? Shut up. Shut up. Shut mouth. Shut mouth. Shut mouth. Stop. Okay, we're gonna keep going here. We're gonna go Allure of Darkness. Banish Skullmeister. Please do not use Dark Lord Contact. Doesn't this cost life points? Oh, this one's free. Okay. Superbia, bring back the first Dark Lord. Tribute some... <laughs> ah! <laughs> Least intense Toon Duel, holy shit. <laughs> draw phase extravagance! <laughs> oh my god, draw two. Toon Kingdom! Toon Kingdom! Page flip! Extravagance, draw Toon Kingdom, and page flip. You are insane. You are insane! I can't attack this turn because it's a fucking Toon Monster. Pass. Holy shit, do something. I mean, what can you do? You can't do anything. He's got the lock again. Draw two. Dark World Dealings? Draw? Small world? Oh. <laughs> uh, looks like we've got a Cyber Dragon, Cyber Dark Mirror match here. Oh, do you guys know what your opponent's playing? Yeah, so you just passed turn here. I see. You just passed turn. Because you know if you summon a field, your opponent's going to Chimera attack it. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. The, the Machine Mirror match, truly, uh, truly one for the ages. Uh, but can you survive, though? I mean, that's the thing. You risk just dying. Will we be able to uh, survive? Here we go. Let's go and uh, search Power Bond. Link up away into Barricade Burger. Chimeratek sends Horn. Power Bond effect. Banish. Goes into a Cyber Darkness Dragon. Uh, wasn't it better to just go into Rampage? Whoa! Cyber End Dragon. There it is. Cyber Eternal Ghost Bell is what saves you and protects you. Ghost Bell so that you can't reborn... The Cyber Darkness Dragon, and therefore you survive 
Your opponent takes 2k. And if we summon a, a Cyber Dragon, it's gonna be Gigi. All right, we got Emergency for Cyber Dragon Core. We got Cyber Dark Invasion here. J re Red Re- Have you been playing Red Reboot this whole time? Animation! Animation! Oh, he doesn't even set another trap from the deck. He plays one trap and he drew Reboot for it. That's so funny. All right, Hurt's gonna activate here to recycle the core. Ooh, let's go! <laughs> there goes Fortress! Link away here, or <laughs> your contact fuse away the whole field. Into a Chimera tech. And now we just... Oh, Prosperity? Ooh, okay, so we need to do 12,000 damage now. How? I mean, it's Cyber Dragon, to be fair. How? What do you mean, how? Can we do 12,000 damage? Alright, so this is a 42 attack three times monster. Plus seven... Sure, maybe, it's the, maybe it's game? 21? 21? I like how it says final blow three times. Because... Masudo doesn't recognize prosperity. It just thinks that it's it's game with it. it's 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 very f a funny bug, huh? Funny bug, funny bug. All right, this better be uh your best play here, cause uh you're someone's going home. Well, actually, you're all home because it's the internet, but you know, double Kragen is he even once per turn. That's so funny. We've also got double Chalice, which is hilarious. All right, set Ice Barrier here. We got a Vadir. Gonna go Chalice one of them, Chalice the other one. All right, uh, negate both of these. Gonna go small world, small world, griffin, banish a card of the hand, go for ice bell. Hey, you did draw the worst one, didn't you? Okay, ice bell, special summon with uh, glass bell. Effect, burn, add, special freeze bell, special snow bell, into winter bell. Burn for some more damage here. Summon out Vadir, Vadir dump griffin, sink those away into stardust, charge warrior. It's a copy of win. Diamond bell is summoned, diamond bell gonna burn here, does burn damage, gets to pop a card. Dragon does get to go into the spawn, though. And uh, now we get to go battle phase here. Ice barrier in the damage step, protecting the Kragen. Takes 15 here, punches over the Kragen. Once per turn, doesn't flow. It, it, it's not once per turn! Okay. Oh, you only got... Oh, you... Oh, 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 oh! I was gonna say, why didn't you have four spawns? But cards are limited to three in Yu-Gi-Oh. Today I learned. Shock horror. Cards are limited to three in this game. All right. Love how ice barrier is permanent. I do really enjoy that for you. All right, can we do anything with this Diamond Bell? I don't think so. Nash Knight! Nash Knight effect. Going to uh, attach here and attach your opponent's monster. Battle phase. Punch over the Stardust Charge Warrior. 19, 19, 19. Is it game? Fighter Bro! GG! All right, we're going to start off here with a Pot of D into Ready Fusion. Rare Fish. Sharks with Leaf Fish. Dumping Crystal Shark. Crystal Shark effect. Target, special. Go into this guy, into a Kragen, another rank four if we want to. What are we making? Double Kragen. The Kragen! Set three! Oh my god. Oh my god! Off turn here. Five cards. Aridolia. Got the evil eye, Surzeal. Almost summon Surzeal. The Kragen! Gonna pop the uh, Surzeal here. Immediately, burning. Take 800. As well. We're going to search for the Evil Eye Unleashed to try and play through this a little bit. Going to send the Gorgonzola. Adds a copy of the Evil Eye Selene. Activate Evil Eye Awakening. Bring back. Nothing to stop here. Oh, second pop. Second pop here. Chains the uh, Balustris, which does what? Specials itself. Then still gets popped and burned for 800. Which summons a Basilius. Sends a Gorgonzola. Links up into the Gorgonzola Empress. Uh, we got double equips out here on the mommy here. Oh, we got Cosmic Cyclone in the main here. Gonna banish the Evil Eye of Selene. That is huge. All right, removes this permanently. Not gonna be able to recycle this one. Other Gorgonzola in the graveyard here gets to discard and add, add a Evil Eye of Selene instead. Okay, we have a second one. Activate an Evil Eye of Selene. Set pass. Okay, we're not going to attack. I'm sure there was a reason for that. Uh, we don't want them to uh, float, I see. Chain the Evil Eye of Defeat, which is double Compulse... We've got Evil Eye of Selene here. Gonna get banished by the second Cosmic. The Kragans are gone. All right, we've got Buzzsaw Shark coming down. We've got one card and a Dream versus a Boss Monster with our equip. I mean, this is looking pretty rough here. Negate the Buzzsaw Shark. Balustris activate Chain the Chalice here. I don't know if there's anything else we can do. Do we have any resources in the grave? I think the Crystal Shark maybe gets us somewhere. There it is. Activate Crystal Shark. Special summon overlay into Kragan. Kragan. 
popping the battle stress, burning for 700. Battle phase crashes into the Gorgon. Triggers the effect here to special summon double spawn with materials. Okay, how are we crawling out of this one? We're crashing the spawn. Spawn brings back the Kraken. Re-equips onto that, reattaches onto that, and passes. And then main phase 2 burns and destroys. Oh, we managed to claw our way out of it. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. All right, draw for turn here. We're top decking into an evil eye unleashed. Isn't that like the best draw? Sends a card to add Gorgon. Pause. 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 Activate Gorgon. Banish. Discard. Add Paradolia. That, that, there it is. Okay. All right. Here we go. Add Paradolia for Surazeal. Uh, that's circular for Evil Eye. Well, <laughs> underwhelming, but close enough. So, zeal for Evil Eye Rem Remembrance, Emergence. Brings back the uh, this thing. Triggers the spawn here, popping the Surzeal. Brings back this guy. Links up into a two here. Goes for the Gorgon. Gorgon effect of... Uh, sorry, not effect. Effect of the Evil Eye Unleashed. Chain the Stealth Kraken. And I still don't think it's enough here. Double pop into a top deck. So close. Burns and destroys here. Last card in hand is Evil Eye Remembrance. Does this do anything? It gives us a token. Evil Eye Remembers can banish this. And no, not quite. Oh, almost made it. Almost made it. Nadia's gonna go Leaf Fish, dumping Crystal Shark. Crystal Shark, special summon itself. Activate Abyss Shark in the hand here. Get a copy of Buzzsaw. Uh, revealing the Nettlefish, the special summon. Oh boy, we got big place here. We got Stealth the Kraken. Double the Kraken. Okay. Lava Golem's legal, I suppose that's a thing. Set one card and pass. All right. Can Dark World play through double destroy? Seen that class one of them. All right. We're getting there. That's uh, step one. All right. Activate the gentleman. The gentleman adds a copy of the Gates of Dark World. Activate the Gates of Dark World. Banishing the gentleman. Discarding a copy of Graffa. Drawing a card. And Graffa pops the back row instead of the Kragen. Okay. They feel like they can play through the Kragen here. Gonna hit that back row first. It's probably the uh, Chalice, isn't it? Oh, it's Torrential. Okay. That's a big hit there. Uh, archives plus a second copy of the Gates of Dark World here. Banishing the gentleman. Discarding Rainbow. And uh, Rainbow plus Archives. Gonna draw two and search here. We're popping off kings. Can't believe it took this long for this deck to top. Holy crap, man. All right. Discarding the Lucian here. Drawing two. Lucian effect. Special summon. Bouncing it to the hand with the Rainbow. Bouncing that to the hand with the Graffa. Activating Accession here, chains the Kraken. I don't think that actually helps here, but you have to anyway, otherwise it just becomes discard a card. Pops the Graffa, I don't think that matters, right? Because we can just use our hand. Can we not banish? Oh, we had a Graffa in hand anyway, damn. Graffa in hand here triggers to pop the Santa Claus. And Rainbow also gets another search here for another copy of Lucient. All right, pop the Santa Claus, bouncing here with the Rainbow, and then bounce again with the Graffa. Look at that, dude. Just a six-card hand popping off here. My god, this deck is crazy. Why did it take so long to top? I don't know. Another copy of the Gates of Dark World is activated as we banish Santa Claus and discard Lucian to draw. Lucian gonna special summon itself here. We're just going for blood now. Archives again. Discard Lucian. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why Dark World is the best deck this week in the last card standing. You do! We're here with the top cut and this, your end result of this week's last card standing, episode 10. Naturally, there's going to be a lot of decks and archetypes that may have flown under the radar, especially for 10 total weeks. It's kind of a surprise that Cyber Dragon took this long to really be recognized, but I suppose when there's just so many goddamn archetypes in this game, it makes sense that eventually people will flock to it when they realize there isn't much left. So anyway, we're starting to reach a point where every week I say this is the most dominant deck. Well, this is the new most dominant top cut deck we've had. I think the most was far higher. Now Cyber Dragons are the most topping deck ever in the history of the LCS. But regardless, it's still a pretty diverse format here. Over 25% of top cut for Cyber Dragon is a lot, but Evil Eye taking a surprising amount of uh, top cut spots, but you could argue maybe that isn't that surprising, especially considering how powerful some of those newer support cards are. Sharks are now banned, which is a very difficult uh, archetype, quote-unquote, to tackle, because how do you ban sharks? Uh, well, what we ended up doing was banning the word shark from all card names that are sea serpent or, or fish main deck monster something like that check the discord for the details uh skull servants as a grass deck well grass needs to go grass needs to, i i get it i get it grass needs to go uh, and there's a couple of surprising ones here i want to say wind witch gusto um i i feel like maybe that could have been a topping deck a little bit later but someone has managed to make it work and the final last ever i think cybers archetype past this point there are no more archetypes of cybers left 
We'll see if Cybers can actually top in the future. Surely they'll be fine even without an archetype. All right, thank you everyone for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember that entry is open to everyone and all, regardless of Patreon or Twitch subscriber membership. Although I would really appreciate if you signed up on that Patreon regardless, because it's the best way to keep this channel going. Thanks so much for tuning in. See you in two more weeks for episode 11, I think it is, of The Last Card Standing.